Greetings, people of Earth. Welcome back. Today, I am walking to my house from my parents' house. It's not a very long walk, but it happens to be the perfect distance to make a YouTube video. So that's what we're doing. So today, you guys know, you see the title, so you know what this is about. Ignore my hair and the chilliness of the snow on the ground and everything. Today, we're talking about the obsession with straight guys in the gay community. Um, I don't exactly know how I'll title this, but you guys can already see it. But I did a TikTok about this the other day. Had a lot of interesting comments, a lot of people saying different things. But it's really true. Um, if you're unfamiliar or, you know, the gay community is not something that you have engaged with, you won't know that in the gay world, a straight boy is considered very attractive for all kinds of dumb reasons that we're going to talk about. And that straight acting gay men seem to be at the top of this dumb hierarchy of attractability and that kind of thing. Part of this is because I think when you're gay and you're growing up gay, you're sort of, you're in the closet, nobody knows you're gay and you are surrounded by straight men. And so that sets your attraction um, in the same way that attraction is something that is socially set, you know, like in the 1600s, being very overweight was considered the most attractive quality you could have because it showed that you were affluent, you had the money to sustain being that size, you never wanted for food. So that was the attraction in the Middle Ages and it was so socially set, you know? It was decided in society. It wasn't one person deciding, this is attractive, but it was society as a whole saying, these are qualities we find attractive. Just like in ancient Greece when all those statues were sort of the attractive thing, right? So I think part of it is sort of an honest, natural thing, like gay men are attracted to the the people they're surrounded with when they're growing up and you know like on the soccer team or whatever that that's how i see it anyway however the problem with it is that it carries on after you come out of the closet and gay men in particular have this kind of attraction to the very masculine energy and the sort of idea of acting like a straight guy and not not being gay, not being feminine in any way. And it's really toxic, obviously. This generates problems in several areas because straight men do not want to be in a relationship with the gay ones. Obviously, that is kind of why they are straight and we are gay. So that's the problem is that it's sort of this like, untouchable fruit if you want to go back to like Greek mythology and Tantalus and those kinds of things but for someone like me I am genuinely not interested in straight guys whatsoever I have a bunch of straight friends and they know I'm not interested I know I'm not interested and it's not an issue but even even on places like Grindr and Tinder the idea of a straight guy wanting to experiment or something is considered like, ooh, that's exotic, that's fun, that's interesting, that's attractive. When in reality, a vast majority of the guys that you will encounter who say that they are straight, yet hang out and they're in relationships with gay guys, they're not straight. They're just saying that. Sometimes there are, there is like a distinct category of guys that specifically call themselves straight guys and like, oh, I'm straight. But they do not interact with women in any way, shape or form. <laughs> they, they are absolutely gay, but they have this homophobia and they're unable to, they're unable to just say, yeah, I'm gay and that's okay. So they hide behind this idea of like, oh no, I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> and for some reason, other gay guys buy this and they, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, he's, he's straight. And it's like, no, he's not. So, I don't know. I just get frustrated with it. And 
it like it says it says bad things about the gay community in several ways because if 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 every gay guy really wants to be with straight guys what does that say about gay guys and what does that say about our ability to love ourselves and have self-respect for ourselves and each other when everybody just wants to be with a straight guy you know it doesn't make a lot of sense it actually makes no sense whatsoever but i think it's for those reasons i suggested before like you grow up learning what is supposed to be attractive in our society and we're told that the the very baseline of attractiveness is the strong masculine straight guy and so gay guys are kind of stuck trying to figure this out and trying to work it out in their own heads and say well I was raised to think that this is attractive I'm not attracted in women but I'm attracted to this and what this is is a straight guy who theoretically should want nothing to do with me and so Part of it is definitely the social structure and, you know, obviously we're a marginalized group. We're a group that struggles with this kind of stuff, like many other groups do. And it's just a shame that it's the way it is. But somehow I've gotten over it. And I know many gay men, particularly a lot of the ones that I hang out with, don't have this weird obsession and this like, fixation I, I should call it a fixation yeah it's this fixation on sort of gay straight that kind of thing so I don't know how we have managed to avoid this fixation maybe like for me I didn't know I was gay for a very long time like 19 years old so I didn't grow up being bullied about it I didn't feel like I was less than I just felt like I was strange because I wasn't attracted to anybody and so then it wasn't until later that I was like oh I'm gay and so then I came by it a little more um spontaneously I guess is the word I wasn't like like I talked to a lot of guys who knew that they were gay from like six years old and like I can't imagine what that does to a person's psyche and like how you perceive who you are what you want to be and what you're attracted to. So maybe that's part of it. But I feel like I've also never struggled too much with my self-image. I have a pretty positive self-image of myself. Obviously, like, I screw up. I make dumb decisions. I do all of that kind of stuff. But I don't inherently dislike myself. And I don't think I ever have. And I'm not saying that, like, self-hate leads to just like being attracted to that but maybe it's a factor I don't know so I don't know if this really helped it was more of just kind of a rant about how I'm annoyed that straight guys are kind of obsessed over and fixated on but I'd love to hear your comments I'm sure this is going to be a very commented video there'll be a lot of people's opinions which I really hope you know it's a good discussion and it's um, constructive, you know, let's not, let's not drag people through the mud for their decisions and for their choices. Everybody is their own arbiter of fate and judging someone else's decisions really harshly. We're not here for that. We're here to just talk about stuff, figure it out and basically see what we can do to make the world a better place. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>